Hey, how's it going? We're gonna have our mission tonight for the 332. Uh, gonna be in the Phantom, so we're right now we're just waiting for the uh, briefing to kick up. So let's just listen to the boys and shoot shit with them. It has it has hey! smoke's favorite feature, which is uh, no targeting pod. Team gauges. You don't need a targeting pod. I mean, you, can, you have Mavericks. You can use your Mavericks as a target. Uh, exactly. This guy gets it. Hold on one. Let's go. What are we talking about? TGPs for? Yeah, you can pry my lightning pod from my cold dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> on the ATA, since you don't get a target pod, you can just F use your Mavericks. Pod win. We're so fucking bad. A10 sniper pod win. You just wait until there's an actual mod that lets us have our good pods. 15. You just wait. So, so you just wait till the F fours get their good pods, bro. Yeah, it's still over first. for you. I mean, you still, you still the pave like, tag? alert everyone within a thousand mile radius with your smoke trail. So we all know you're coming, Grandpa. No. -uh. What are you gonna do about it? Imagine not having air to ground radar. Imagine needing a radar. Our, our radar is air to ground. Yeah. Imagine not having a positive thrust to rate ratio. Oh, flying in reverse. Imagine only imagine having a twenty millimeter. Economy. Imagine having jet engines. You don't have good fuel economy. You just carry all the fuel. Imagine, yeah, imagine having the same having engines as a CRJ two hundred. <laughs> it's like most of us. They're not the same. They use they TF no, no, they're TF thirty fours. Do you get per You have you have TF thirty fours. You have the same engine as a CRJ two hundred. CRJs use CF thirty fours. It's the commercial no. variant. No. -uh. <laughs> you say, say, say whatever you want about the A ten. We won't even hear it all the way back here anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna lose my marbles. You've already uh, lost them. Look at him suffer. Answer the question. Watch him no. choke. Watch him choke. According hey, to my sensor up. panel, my coolant temperature is zero degrees Celsius. I don't think that's good. That is very not good. Hey, wake up. Might want to get on that gamble. Sounds like Team speak? F-15 don't care. Where are my going? <laughs> to space. That's where we're going. Welcome, Micah. How you feeling, buddy? Up. So so, but I'll make it. Good. He's alive. Nice to have you, bud. But if I crash tonight, it'll be because I'm sick. It's right? good to know yeah. my Micah Voodoo doll is working. <laughs> He's just been oh, coughing on it, Storky. <laughs> He's been coughing on other it and stabbing it with pins to keep Micah sore. Dude, his back. My heat gun goes crazy. <laughs> how many uh how many Assassin's Creed games have you made it through so far? One and a half. I gotta pump those numbers up, it, pal. It's a long <laughs> trudge, guys. It's yeah, you don't it's not done in a day. Did no. you start that at it, dude? Did you start back? Yeah, it was super tedious. I hate AC one. <laughs> Who showed oh, me? That's one of those games that's just a good memory. I'm gonna leave it at that. Exactly right. Two and Brotherhood were really good. Those were a lot yeah, of fun. I I never played two before. This is my first time, but it's very similar to Brotherhood. I loved Brotherhood. Do all of the uh, do the assassin tombs. They're a lot of fun. Okay. Whichever game you started to chain the kills together, that was my favorite for sure. Howard Black Flag. Yeah, Black Flag was awesome. Yeah, I just started re-downloading all the Assassin's Creed games that I could find on the PC to start playing them again. When I first heard that Black Flag, it was, like, it was gonna be Black Flag, it was Pirates, I was like, man, that's gonna be so stupid, but that's probably my favorite. Champion of the people. It's arguably also like the best pirate game out there, too. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I say, honestly, it's not much of an Assassin's Creed game, it's just a pirate game. Yeah. But there's an animus, I mean, they got, they got that whole story. 
allow me to disagree. Sid Meier's Pirates is the best Pirates game ever made. That, that, that is... Sorry, we're talking about oh, ancient history. Not ancient history. That's hey, not remember ancient. Dancing that with the Mayor's Daughter? It's an actual game, to be honest. Heart, it's amazing. It's, it, it, it has like 25 years old. It's amazing that you know. You know, I have never found my entire family. I just say fuck that and just go be, do piratey things. <laughs> I've never found my family before. I think I found, I found like a sister once, and that was like an accident. <laughs> Mar Marlboro, I totally agree with you. How you beat me to the punch? Man, that game is amazing. You can like, uh, okay, uh, now I want scene. to, I want to pirates for the England, so you can uh, take <laughs> over all the French settlements. And man, th this game is amazing. Sounds it's totally amazing. Yeah, it, it and here, swords. If you've ever played Mountain Blade Bannerlord, it's just like that, the pirates, basically. That's that goes cool. crazy. Alrighty. Let's go. Right. Well, so... It is 5.02. So, uh, thank you one and all for coming out to the start of the next campaign that's going to take place in Syria, as you all should be aware by now. Um, so, we're just going to jump right into the briefing. So, I'm um, streaming it, so we'll just start from there. All right, first mission tonight is Operation Killing the Legend. Where is my mouse here? All right. How do I go? Why is it not going to the next one? There we go. Overview. Okay, so big thing is that there's kind of two uh, area of operations, um, areas of operation. Uh, Task Force Charlie will be the United States Air Force airframes. She'll be operating right now uh, over uh, is, is Israel, essentially, is your main um, area. And then Task Force Bravo will be the United States Navy. Uh, we'll be mostly handling operations up in Cyprus uh, at the beginning of this uh, this um, campaign here. So, for Task Force Charlie, Israeli forces have been able to temporarily halt the enemy advance. Enemy rocket artillery is being deployed on a nearby ridge to weaken the Israeli defenses. Enemy ground reinforcements have been spotted en route from the northeast. And Ramat David has been under near constant but inaccurate attack from long-range missiles, rockets, and artillery. For Task Force Bravo, the island of Cyprus is of strategic importance and can be used to launch attacks against the carrier strike group and the greater eastern Mediterranean. An invasion of Cyprus is set and will be supported by the Navy. Alright, Uzi. Uh, Uzis provide cover for Sting as they strike SAM sites in Cyprus. Use the cap waypoint as an anchor and be aware of your proximity to the island to avoid getting shot at by said SAMs. I think the only Tom Casterton are going to be me and Jay, so... Uh, we'll uh, we'll do our best to keep you keep the keep Sting safe, and obviously if anything slips through, we'll uh, be sure to let you guys know to keep an eye out. All right, Sting is tasked with destroying enemy SAM installations on the island. Um, I saw on the roster you guys looked that you had two full flights to Sting. Um, that totally works. The, that Sting three has the, each Sting flight has their own dedicated SA two. Um, the two along the coast are the definitely the more priority ones. The one more inland, uh, if you happen to have the manpower for it, by all means go get it. Um, you know, standard seed kind of thing, deed kind of thing, use your harms, disable the site's radar, and each launcher has a waypoint loaded, uh, set right on top of, uh, on top of it, so you should be able to program your JDAMs, uh, and just bomb, um, them, uh, like, like a bunch of bad boys. Uh, any questions about that? Okay. Alright, then moving on to the, uh, USAF airframes. Viper divide defensive cap over the front line and cover Colt. Waypoints 2 and 3 are the priority. Expect enemy ground attack aircraft as well as interceptors. Um, big thing to note is that you are near... Waypoint 3 is near the edge of the enemy SAMnet. And remember, this is a decap. Do not press into enemy territory. Stay stay kind of over over the line. Stay kind of, you know, stay closer to Israel than anything. Because, again, you're trying to just hold the airspace, not trying to go find stuff that's out there because the enemy SAMnet is extensive. Uh, any questions for Viper? Okay. Uh, yeah. Do we know what kind of air threats? Uh, we'll yeah, we'll get there in a moment. Okay. I'm gonna give every everybody air threats here because it's the very beginning. Um, we're not 100% sure what we'd be expecting right off the bat, but I will give an overview of what kind of threats that we could, that the the coalition does have, so everyone's on the same page. Um, so yeah. Uh, Colt armored reinforcements have been spotted coming in from the northeast. We know of at least three groups. Your waypoints are laid out on their most probable route. Um, this road does kind of uh, flow around in and around uh, the mountain ranges and ridges there, so um, you know they you know, that road could disappear behind behind a you know a ridge or a mountain. So just kind of keep your eyes open. Uh, 
be aware of enemy short and AAA attached to these battle groups themselves. Uh, destruction of these reinforcements is critical. This will stop the, U of, uh, the UAF advance, and it will give NATO enough time to get ground troops into Israel so he can start working on the counteroffensive. Same thing, you will be right on the edge of the San SM uh, mm -hmm. enemy SAM net, so keep an eye on your SA pages, um, keep an eye on your RWRs. Don't get complacent, keep your head on a swivel. Uh, any questions for Colt? From Colt. All Hello. right. All right, Gambler. Uh, there's a rocket artillery battalion has set up on a ridge and has been shelling Israeli, they're rocketing technically Israeli positions. Destroy the artillery pieces and its ammunition stores. Note the landmarks. And I mean my landmarks as you see where you can see where the lake is. This giant lake is here. Uh, you can, you, there's a large ridge that's right at the tip of this lake. And just kind of use those markers to kind of get an idea of where this is. You have two waypoints. Uh, you have an ingress, which is to the south. And then uh, after you drop your, uh, you drop your load, uh, egress west. This is absolutely critical. If you go east, you will die. Go west. Um, which means back over, kind of over the lake, back toward, uh, you know, friendly lines. Any questions there? Uh, oh yeah, and then here's my little, here's a little recon photo. Here are the emplacements of rocket artillery. And you can see two large ammunition storehouses here. The actual rocket artillery positions themselves uh, are the priority here. But if you, again, if you have the munitions for it, knock out these uh, storage, uh, ammunition storage, uh, storage bunkers as well, if, if, if you can. Uh, any questions from Gambler? So the uh, batteries are the priority, not the ammunition. Yeah, we want we want to just we want to hit this if we hit these if we can because these are an immediate threat right now. Okay. Uh, any because they, they can shoot. Um, Expect it. Yes. Um, I'll kind of get there when I kind of get with Hog because uh, coming from this, if you use this ingress, mm -hmm. you'll be okay. Um, there is like enemy shore red and stuff like SA nines that are over. You know, here you can see here where this uh, large enemy formation is. Okay. There are SA nines and things in that area, but if you kind of stay over the water here on your way out and you kind of kind of use this as you're in, you're in you'll 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 be okay like i said if you go east you will have a bad time okay um, gotcha. or a good time i don't know what you're i don't know what you're into <laughs> um so yeah uh i've i have pretty much size of 15s i've flown and tested all these missions uh they all seem actually all, they're all pretty cool in my opinion um especially gambler i think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun uh being able to do some cool uh dropping on this i think it'll be fun um any other questions there Mm -mm. All right, moving on to Hog. Uh, provide close air support for Israeli defenders. Large enemy formations are attempting to break through the Allied line. Waypoint 1 and Waypoint 2 are the main concentrations of enemy forces. Be advised of friendly forces at the base of the mountains to the west of your target area. All enemy forces in the area are valid target weapons free. So uh, there's a ridge here. They don't, not for, they're not really showing up on here, but uh, there is or this, this, you take your Waypoint 1, two large formations here. You can see these towns. And anything in between, um, there are, as you can see here, some friendly units kind of here to the west, kind of where this where this mountain foothills are. Where the, there's a kind of this little canyon, but you know, just maybe double check with your targeting pot if you're looking at these mountains before you shoot at something. But everything over here on the on the right here between these waypoints, free, free, uh, free game. Also, uh, no weapon restrictions at all. So bring whatever you'd like. Any question? And that's for everybody. Uh, any questions, Hog? Um, oh, good. Okay. All right. So, um, and again, I kind of, you didn't kind of go over, but like I said, uh, there are triple, there are some triple A threats and some SA nines that we are, we do know is here, and some a couple of man pads. Um, you know, there's nothing super scary right over here, but as I've been saying with everybody, you know, keep your head on the swivel, look for that smoke in the air. Um, you know, don't die because you're not paying attention. It's a Jupiter mission. I knew there were man pads. There's always man pads. Um, now, threats. Now, this is the this is the known. United uh, Arab Front inventory. This is what they have. They've got 29s, 27s, 21s, Phantoms, Frogfoots, Mirages. They've got 14s. They got 16s. They got 15s. And uh, there are they're not in this mission, but we have seen uh, some 17s on radar as well. We're not sure where that's what's where that's coming from. Uh, ground units, SA 300s, uh, SA 1, the Buck, Tor. This is the SA 15. Um, this is a monster of a of a shore rad. So if you see 15 uh, SA 15. Um, definitely get pay pay respect to it it will end your night real quick if you're not uh, not careful i say twos sa sixes sa eights they have patriot sites they have hawks and i'm actually not sure what this is so another thing to keep in mind because we may run into all what may look like friendly nails keep in mind where you actually are what where you're facing what actually 
your position actually is. It's because you see a Patriot or Hawk site on the RWR does not necessarily mean that that is a friendly. So remember where you are. Um, but tonight, um, mostly, uh, mostly we're going to probably see MiG-21s, MiG-29s, uh, maybe some Phantoms. Um, I, we have seen other, I think there's a couple F-16s you might run into. Um, so the F-16s, I think those 16s that we're going to see, F-16s are going to be Viper. So obviously if it's not you guys, you know, it's a bad guy. Um, the further we go along, the more intelligence we gather, um, you know, we'll be able to get a better understanding of what kind of forces we'll be facing. Um, and as well as on top of the already stated ground threats and SA and nails, if you guys notice anything on your RWR that does that's not here, uh, make sure to let the uh, brass know so we can um, add that to the uh, threat list in case there's something that we aren't aware of. Um, hint, hint. Uh, comms. So we're trying out come kind of a new comms ladder and some tack end rules, um, just to try and maybe maybe clean things up a little bit. Um, this part's kind of more complicated. This is just for later. But tonight, what we're trying to do is, if you basically need to get a hold of somebody, like obviously in Cap, if you need to get a hold of Cap, you know, like for instance Uzi, let's say, like you know, it, it gets a little easier when we're spread out like this. But if you have multiple Cap flights, you know, it's easier just to have all the Cap flights on one flight, and someone can reach out to them. Basically, you just say if you need to get a hold of someone really important, just change your radio real quick. Say, hey, I need some help over here. Can you help? They come back. Yeah, we can do it. Switch back to whatever radio you were at because it's hard when everyone's only got two radios and the Phantoms only got one. Um, so, uh, me and Marble kind of talked about this, um, but, uh, comms have always been kind of muddy, but this is kind of what we're kind of going to set it. So if you need to get a hold of anybody specifically, they're going to be on one of these channels. So you don't have to kind of, they don't change, they don't guess, and we don't have 50 people on one channel, um, talking over each other. Um, I, we'll, we'll, we'll try this out, see how this goes. Um, and obviously as always, when it comes to the radio stuff, the more, um, feedback we get from you guys about what maybe works, what doesn't, the better we can kind of make it because the radios always seem a little a little screwy um and then also have air to air tack end rules just so that way nobody ends up setting the same tack end um i don't know who else uses the yardstick a lot but i know uzi uses the yardstick extensively but you've kind of set it up if you're going to set up uh, an air to air tack end these are the kind of ranges down here for each airframe um so none of these should get any overlap so that way you shouldn't accidentally end up looking at you know someone's air to air tack end from you know 45 miles away 50 miles away or something like that um so remember the, the specifically if you need to get a hold of anybody in particular specifically they're on these those these flights are on these channels off to the right. We'll see how this goes. Um, any questions? Yes, uh, for the Air Force airfield, we are going to be using two nine zero ATC uh, for takeoff and landing, right? Yeah, I kind of set that as just the standard for that because Perfect. ATC is stupid and doesn't shut up half the time, and I figure you guys don't want to hear hold position whole position for two hours before you finally switch okay um yeah um yeah there's no jtac but in case you know someone mission someone wants to do something crazy like that i just added some all the stuff and you got their carrier freaks awax freaks all that fun stuff if we start doing some strike packaging stuff i've put some stuff in there just in case you need to get hold of a specific strike package if guys are working together um but other than that that's uh that's comms um if you need to get hold of somebody you know this is where to find them uh, so the success rate uh, to your report tonight. What's up? Did someone have something to say? Uh, two, two and a half questions. One and a half. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is the friendly SAM composition in case you need to drag bandits back across friendly lines? There are there are two fr two hawk sites uh, that range extends just past the front line. So if you need a bug out, which is that's actually a good point. I don't know who made that point, but I wanted to say the same thing to Uzi. Um, if you do need to, you know, kind of drag the enemy back a little bit toward either toward the boat or toward the friendly SAMs, you know, that's a absolutely a valuable uh, a viable um, tactic tonight because. I know we've been practicing the grinder, but you got to be real careful how far out you're going past the front line, otherwise you start running into Sam City. Um, good question. Uh, what was the other one? The other one is Gambler might finish their, might complete their objective and maybe a pass or two, basically one flight. Uh, should we push over to Hogs for like AFAC, or do, dare we say, hey, does the Navy need to need a hand, or what's our what's our plan after that? Um, that's kind of up to you. I mean, I don't think you'll be able to. To, yeah. to cover that ground to get to, to get to the Navy boys in time, but um, I'm sure. I mean, Hog's got four guys tonight, so I don't. I don't actually know much ordinance to be able to can't, they'll, they'll actually be bringing. Um, so if anything, I would say you can go and retask and see if Hog needs. Uh, you know, Hog, Hog can bring you guys in to just yeah. keep, keep putting on the pressure. Because I mean, um, Ramad David is maybe like 
40 miles, 50 miles from the line, if that. So it's yeah. not even far. So even if there's probably time, if you guys get in one pass and you guys just bomb the shit out of it, like I see in my head every night, uh, I mean, there's probably time to go <laughs> or land back at Ramat David, land, rearm, and get back in the fight. So um, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, same thing even for maybe for even Viper. Uh, you are close enough to the airport where, or the airfield where maybe if you if two of you, if there's four of you, you can get two of you down to refuel and rearm to get back up. There is There might be time for that. Um, but the goal is to survive. Let's not die. Let's keep the um, let's keep the enemy forces at bay if we can, um, you know, and uh, utilize like uh, I guess I can't remember who made the asked the question, but you know, if you have to bring the bad guys over to Samnet, definitely do it. It's um, better to have them die and have the Sam get a kill than you get a kill and you also be killed. We need you alive. Now the Vipers have three waypoints. Are we just covering all of them? How many um how many fights do you guys have tonight? Uh, we got f two, f two, two. You, two okay, so then I would just worry, just worry about um, where you at? Worry about uh, waypoint two and three. So camp, cap, um, whatever the fuck I said, east and south. So two and three. North was just there in case you guys happen to have uh, a third flight. I've been setting up triggers in a way where, like this trigger, like a trigger down here would be set up by Viper one. This trigger off here would be set up by Viper two, and then if you had a third one, they would go up here, and then if Viper they see Viper three goes there, then they'd get their own thing to shoot at. I've been kind of breaking it up a little bit, but. So if nobody's up here, you don't Perfect. have to worry about it. Got it. All right. Cool beans. Good questions. Any other questions? All right. Cool. So the success criteria, kill the Sams in Cyprus, destroy the rocket artillery, uh, looking for at least maybe 50% casualties on the armored reinforcements and relieving allied forces of the enemy advance. Um, so uh, mission is up on the server. It is paused. I checked it. It's working. Um, so uh, at this point, we can break into our groups and uh, start putting the herd. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to resume the mission in about 10 minutes. So you'll be around 8.30 when uh, we we'll unpause the mission. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Copy. All right, to the casino. So um, I'm thinking, well... I think it'd be pretty easy to at least hit those bunkers. Um, oh yeah. Either with with the hobos or um, I was thinking the uh, what H Mavs, the big like, the super big Mavericks. I don't yeah, know if you'll lock onto them. Hobos, probably. Bunkers. Um, I've like dropped a pair of hobos on those kind of bunkers before on Gray Flag, and uh -huh. uh, they will not they will not break those bunkers. We need like paveways for those things. Okay. Well, we got, so do we, we just we ignore the bunkers? Ways, I but... think. It might be a two-pass job if we want to take the ammo, because mm -hmm. all the launchers are super easy. Rockeye, CB-97, fuck them up, just plastic. Uh, yeah, I was going to suggest clusters, or I was probably going to try rockets, just because I haven't had yeah, a chance to I was going to do clusters, because I've... If we take rockets, it'll be a clusters. Right, so it'll be a what? Be... What I think would be like a really good loadout for this is probably just... Now, for me personally, I like to carry my winders, especially since we don't know the year situation. Oh, yeah, so I'm carrying probably, winders. I'm going to say the winders, everybody carries like a pair of Bravo Mavs in case of the Sam launch out down there. We can peg it. And then, you know, just some sort of soft kill like rockets or clusters. Um, like that. You can really carry um, six. You can carry six clusters on your wings. And then you got mm -hmm. your center, center line or whatever you want to put on it. I'm not taking if, fuel. If both of you guys carry Mavs, or sorry, if both of you guys carry Sidewinders, I just, I won't carry them. Since we'll have eight Sidewinders, I think you guys would be able to cover me. So I can take something a bit heavier if you want me to. Um, if you want to go for the, if you want to go for the bunkers, you can be the designated paveway bunker guy. But th those are laser guided. We need a fucking yeah. teapot for that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I, I think I just. It. I, I think it's, I think it's my time to shine as the Honestly, lone backseater. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, um, we'll handle the paveways and the bunker. I, I mean, I think I think we need to. So they've set the pro focus on the rocket artillery. There's three revetments. There's three of us. I think we focus on the rocket artillery first. And when and you know if we make it home and we say, well, you know, I'm I'm still hungry, we can go back and get those bunkers. Okay, that works. Yeah, we depends can on the right environment out. because to use those paveways, we're gonna need to be high. And that's going to be past the enemy line in the I mean, that. So on, the, the like, whole run, and now it's going to be maybe 2,000 foot ceiling. You know what I mean? But the, uh, I don't I mean, know. I understand what you're saying. But the hobos carry... were built for oil rigs. Like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel mm -hmm. like, you know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I was going to say, but... if, if, if nothing else, 
we can each carry four hobos. I'm sure if we drop what fucking twelve hobos on a bunker, it's gonna kill it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll just take some soft. We'll take some soft kill stuff. Cluster on the center line, hobos on the outboards, and rock and roll. I guess. Yeah, we could take mixed loadouts too. Yeah, yeah. I'll take I'll, I'll take rockets for it anything be a, that survives. I think because it'd be I, it'd be a two pass job then, but I think it's gonna be either way at this point. Yeah, that's okay <clears> though. <throat> Are we? We're all taking hobos right now. I'd, I'd say so, and just like hammer the shit out of those bunkers. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think we need fuel. It's such a short flight. No. Yeah. The only reason we need fuel is if we get, like, jumped. Up and go, like, yeah, if we get jumped, yeah. we need to run burner. I'm going to take 87s on my wingtips and some uh, Mark 82s or some 84s center line if I can. I'll take a. Well, I'll see what I can take in the center. I might just take another 2,000 pound bomb in the center. I'll send it. But I don't want to get too heavy better, if I don't have a fuel tank. I better slot the hell in. <laughs> yep. Let's to... see. Server info. Shit, Actually, which one yeah, do I... Which, yeah, which IP is it? This is, our, this is our first time joining for a campaign. Oh, really? Yeah, this is, oh, this is yeah. first, this the first big boy one. Yeah. Um, it, it, go, it, to the, of trainings. go to the Discord. Yeah, I'm and there. And let, let me see. Where is it at? So just if you type three three two into the into the server, it'll oh work. it's just that live ass okay if it's on the thing I'll just find and then and then it'll say uh it'll say something like um operation yeah, there killing is. the legend or whatever okay yeah there's server info all right um I'm taking rockets and hobos unless there's any objections I mean yeah I think um well y'all could also do a buddy lays well I was gonna say my I thing think, with uh... that I think. The, the LGBs are, like, only going to be for the bunkers, right? Mm -hmm. I think we need to, like, absolutely focus on getting all those rocket launchers in the first go. And then right, and then, if we, if and then we, they like, land, be If we all, like, land and we're like, well, we're still hungry, we can go back up there and drop the paveways on those bunkers. Okay, I'll just take soft kill stuff then. Yeah. I mean, we do have... We've got options, because I was going to say we've got... Because we're not taking fuel, because it's just such a short flight. Oh, yeah. So we've definitely got options. Like, if we really wanted to... If we really wanted to, the, par the Sidewinders, the Mac Paramavericks, centerline cluster bombs, and, like, outboard hobos, if we really yeah. wanted to, like, try and do it all in one go. Yeah, that sounds like it's, that sounds like it's it. Hobos are easy. You could pretty easily pickle two at a time, almost. I think it's, I just rank. know... Well, I mean, maybe they have it a little different on Grey Flag. I just... Whenever I would drop them on those bunkers, though, on Grey Flag, it would the, never kill them. Like, the grass whatever. top. I yeah. <clears throat> honestly, honestly, um, the cert, we're pretty good about recognizing that something is being killed. Something should die if it takes it four thousand pounds to the dome. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, yeah, like the cluster the stuff, going. you know, because yeah. the cluster stuff doesn't work half the time. I've dropped clusters yeah. on helicopters, but I think in the, you know, we'll do a debrief at the end, and if they look at the tag view and recognize that you dropped six thousand pounds on a single bunker, that it's probably dead. So, if I could give a suggestion for our mission profile, then. Yeah. Um, we go up there. We all bring a all we all bring a pair of hobos. Maybe. I think I the I feel like the reasonable thing would be to do is we drop half and half. You know, half on one, half on the other. I mean, if we all bring a pair of hobos, that's what. Fucking six. Yeah. So one of the, if one of us splits our hobos to between the two bunkers and the other two are just dropping on y'all hit the left one you hit the right one, that's what six thousand pounds of bomb per bunker. Yeah, that could work. And then when we still got our pair of Mavericks and we can bring some soft kill center line, and then the um yeah the thing that you got to watch out for is that it's really hard you, you need to attack with the um the um TV stuff first because it has to warm up. Yeah. And I don't know if they fixed that it like doesn't stay warmed up, so you have to drop the TV stuff first. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be the idea: is we glass oh. the place with TV, take out any threats, and then roll in with the cluster and hobos. Okay. Slots um, are a little iffy, I think. I'm worried that if I slot in this spot, I'm gonna spawn inside a gator. Oh no, you'll be good. <laughs> okay. I'm trying so, to locate yeah. the missile if, site. If... If you guys are if you guys are taking Mavericks, I just won't take Mavericks then either. Um, I'll Honestly, keep I clusters think, and stuff, but 
I think just like a pair of, I think us having like four Mavericks, you know, we can use them on the Rocket RD if nothing comes up, but like if there's like a, you know, like a SA9 or, you know, something like that, that's just like perfect for it. Just a little short range. Like short the uh, the two-seaters, you two-seater guys are more effective with Mavericks anyway. Mm. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on the <laughs> person. I used, to, I, used to, I used to fly the Viggen, and like the method there was to scrub the place. Like you'd hold the lock button and just kick the yeah. rudder until it picks something up. Yeah, you can still, I, you can I still love do the that. Vegan. Love the vegan. That's, that's kind of how I do it in a Phantom. Let's hold the lock yeah, button. And that's, yeah. stick. I don't. He, I think. I think he does it because he feels bad for me. But, I, but in a pinch, he does just I good. And, yeah, I try and help. Like if I'm like he's, you're just barely missing us, and I'll just like tap the nose and get it on there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had to rebind all my uh, keybinds because I redownloaded. Was this thing, uh, was this thing already started? No, it's no, no it's paused. I want, uh, see, I, want, I want my canopy open, dude. I gotta let the air in. <laughs> I redownloaded everything on a new uh, hard drive. Yeah, I, I like downloaded everything tonight because yeah. you know it's our like first mission again. And the first time I tried to do it on a training mission, like nothing worked. Like everyone was just in like the Greek like F F four, and I was like, oh shit, it's it's okay. I'm I'm in though. Yeah, but then I like did liberties. it again tonight, and it just worked. And it, and it just like worked tonight. Ooh. So I wonder if my memories uh, work too. They should. Uh, okay, uh, that's where it is. I have identified the well, spot where the missiles are on the F10 map. Well, Storky, I, I moved everything to a new hard drive. Well, if it's all in your saved game stuff, then it should work. If well, you're in this river, it's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't care if it's a Greek F4. It's a cool skin. It may not work, Storky, because my keybinds didn't work. Well, I mm. guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just—I mean, if you're really worried about it, you can probably back out real quick, run the OBGME, and get it figured out real quick, like. Okay, do you want to find where the uh, fucking uh, battery is at on the F10 map? Well, uh, it sh should should work for you, Gator, because you're in here and there's hydrogen SAMs, which I don't, which I think. No, there's no. The, the fucking battle, the fucking missile sites on top of a hill. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just so everyone's yeah, aware. It's in the bottom right corner of Yankee Bravo Four Two. Yeah. I mean, again, you probably. Well, you got two minutes, actually. You could probably back out, run OBGME, and fucking, like, check on your mods. No, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta change the whole configuration root file. Yeesh. Um, I think we should. Well, I mean, also... you still have the mods on your computer somewhere? Hang on, boys. If you still uh... have the mods on your computer somewhere, you don't have to worry about doing the whole install. So that means it's just getting it to recognize it. Slightly unrelated. Um, gotta. We should probably wait for Cap to get up first. Oh yeah. Um, I think we should be one of the last people off the airfield. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let everyone else go first. I think. I mean, that either way, sense. I think we we probably have the slowest cold start out of everybody. Uh, uh, I'll you bet do, you a dollar. You do the there were, car, there's also only there's start, also only well, three of us. Start cartridges. Yeah, they're pretty fast. Start. Yeah. yeah. I like the cartridge yeah. starts. They're fun. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, I forget I hobos. I hobos be is back. gonna be direct, then TV. Direct TV, 17 mils on the side. Mm hmm. I'm so proud of him. He's such a good pilot. <laughs> 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 It doesn't skip breakfast. And then what would be the right tactic for that? Would would lead engage the furthest target or the closest target? I don't know. I think that's something we figure out on the fly. We're we're gonna gamble yeah. with that one. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Yeah, I'm about to move my <laughs> liveries file in here. There's a couple other soft targets just south of the bunkers. Maybe they can catch a little bit of hate. Yep, um, I saw that too. So honestly, that's kind of what I figured. Uh, that that's a that's a bunker busting. That's a that's an afterward kind of thing. But that's if we a... can, if we can shack it all in one flight, then let's push over to the hogs freak and let them play AFAC.
I'm excited to use rockets. You can't talk me out of rockets on this adventure. I apologize. Yeah, we, we, we love rockets. Problem. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I don't use them nearly enough. Again, I just find rockets to be ineffective in this game. I wish like weapons got a buff because there's no way that it's just like the damage it's, modeling yeah. that they do. Yeah, Mark like all like scaled for like tanks. Like you have to directly hit everything. Do I gotta back uh, out of the the server they, or the whole game? I uh, left the crew. Uh, oh well. well uh, they were, they were they resetting the mission. They said. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but I think it's gonna be for real this time. I set up an yeah. OVG ME uh, backup root configuration. So I mean, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that might do it. We'll figure it out. Maybe we can use this funky, I mean, well, like, new you'll know, tool. you'll know real quick if you um, can't select the uh, paint job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hear I mean, sound. I mean, again, is your... You know, if, if, the mod, if your mod folder still somewhere on your computer, you're never telling me to use the mod folder again. Alright, boys. Here we go. Denied? I'll just fly over the... I'll, I'll, I'll just jump over these other um, it ain't working. It's all right. I'm just gonna use the uh, so that way we kind of match. Oh yeah, it's on pause. Hobos. Okay, comms plan. Comms plan. Zero one fifty seven tactical train. Hobos on the wing. And frag packages. We're two fifty point five. Two fifty one. Unguided heat rockets under the wings. Oh. What the heck is that noise? Somebody, somebody's hot started. Do you hear? Or it sounds like there's a mic going on, like a hot mic. Yeah, I heard that. Can I check? It might be I'm, me. Uh, I think playing is on the first one.
lights out and stripes the line. Okay, ready for alignment? Yep. What alignment are we going for? Okay, sword heading aligned.
see what's going on. Gator, be advised, it appears your wheel tracks are still on. Oh, uh, thank you. Roger. And the wheel tracks are out. Hey guys, You're I'm all set, sir. Good to go. Have a safe flight. Uh, it is connecting. Happy. All right, so we are going to we're going to wait for this last uh, eagle to move in front of us, and we're going to taxi run one two seven. Come out, traffic. in the world. Let's do it. So, are we going to be down in the trenches, Visco? I'm feeling good. How, how low are we? Oh, great. I need the crew chief to remove the seat cushion from my asshole. Traffic, pull one, flight three, taking a control wave, two, seven, for a certain control. Roger, mate. Pull two, sliding up behind. 
3,000 feet on the whole level of the air. Spacing. Uh, I got to just get out close to your Not too serious. Alright. Um, Deho, I don't know how much experience you have with uh, takeoffs like this, but about 12 seconds keeps you from getting caught in the wake, at least too dramatically. Uh, use caution. Walk traffic. Nails, 6 o'clock, and uh, nails, 6 o'clock.
Mud, 2 o'clock. SA-2, SA-2. You can pick it up a little bit.
We have a friendly 5 o'clock and a friendly 7 o'clock. Smoke to our right, right. Uh, aircraft, yeah, aircraft looks like our correction on the left. Back in for the next Hobos run. Bro, 
Roger.
Friendly, 11 o'clock, 6 miles. On your six o'clock mark.
I was about to be super happy that everybody. I better check out target paint. Uh, mission. We've got a friendly one o'clock, three mile. Like no can do Yeah, but I would have much rather have not trash the close boat. Yeah, I guess. There's a burning rack where I tried to do an emergency landing, but I lost all authority at slow speeds. <laughs> Um, yeah, that too. I don't know, I put my gear down and I got ready and then I just kept it right. There was nothing I could do. Okay, Neil, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Hey, y'all also, um, when y'all do the feedback form, y'all put down what that was like. What do you, like, like mission profile? Or? Uh, you could put down, like, what you want or something like that, uh, and also, mm -hmm. like, Talk about how pads. it is for well yeah man pads weren't for us. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm talking gonna, about like, like little niche stuff that I can possibly do to the mission. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. a bit of a master and I'll say a lot of shit. I'm gonna write 45, 33 miles, 28,000. Yeah, 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 that's what I was gonna add. Uh, uh, hang on, let's turn y'all up so I can hear y'all. No IFF. I think you're pretty quiet. Deal, but uh, 
I was but gonna, being able to, yeah, go on. Oh, no, I was going to say, adding, um, making sure those presets correspond to actual mission frequencies is going to be huge. Yeah, that's that's the one thing I want to do, is I'm going to make certain our presets are set. Bro. Looking at a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 50, well, I like, oh, they only have one radio? Yeah. Definitely listen in. You know what I mean? Being able to listen to the flight and then yeah, talk on the other one or listen to another push and then talk on flight. Uh, we've got nails. One o'clock. Yeah. If, we, if we knew what the cap guys were like getting into, we'd have a lot better idea what we were. It was, yeah, I got distracted because an F-15 hit the ground right New in front of me. And like as soon as the F-15 hit the miles. ground, I got whacked and I thought there was air contact. There's a there's a bunch of like bot, like F-16s that are like capped for us and they don't pick up on IFF. I was like... You know, that, that's a bad guy ahead of us. And I would like look at him on the radar and press the IFF button. And like, nothing pops up. Oh, no, that's a bad guy. And then Front Seater would say, that's an F-16. And I'm like, fuck it. So I just go to the F-10 now. And there it is, Z-11. And I'm like, god damn it. <clears throat> we're, we're, we're spoiled by these. Oh, I got uh, the nails on our nose. 12 o'clock. Mock traffic, gambler 1-1. That, and uh, I, I could go on and on. I'm not sure I want to. I'm not sure I want to be that guy. Well, yeah, small things was, at first. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we just need those radios set. I was gonna say I noticed. That, I noticed immediately our auxiliary radio was like useless. It's all like on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely get get into the next missions and get that set up for us. Okay, that's a bogey. Right. I think you're at 20 miles. Well, at least for us, because he's a Tomcat, so he flies the older jets. And he kind of. This is best to take care of the other jets. That's probably the most fun. This is probably the most fun I've had in the Phantom, <laughs> in one of the missions that we've done in a long time. Oh yeah, this wasn't a bad mission at all. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm oh, yeah, still it's like exactly. Well, he Austin doesn't like that. Yeah, I hate that. That's all right. Yeah, mission. I get it. I get but, it. Uh, I understand. It was a good mission. Uh, it's like exactly what we're meant for. It's like a fixed target that we can like plan a strike around. The only, yeah, the only thing that annoyed me was that we flew over that area at Ingress to get in there and blow shit up, and we fly ex out exactly the same way and get whacked by a man pad. As, as someone who's yeah. intimately familiar with man pads, yeah, they, they just kind of do that. They're just like, oh, I'm not going to shoot that guy. I mean, Alright, let's shoot this one. It's entirely yeah. totally possible for like, a couple well, of them shot that, us on our way out there and they just missed. It's that yeah. new AI stuff. You know how like AI would just beam you as soon as you got in the area? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. now they like now they need like a minute to like gain SA and then they'll start acting yep. like they usually do. Oh shit! <laughs> That's what it is. They're becoming so, uh, smarter. Is this court wheels right into my my point that I feel like I was gonna make? And that's we, we probably should have done that in, like one pass or two. We, we made like four. Yeah, yeah, we hung out too much. And uh, the strike strike package kind of broke up into just like Mongol Mongol horsemen just like <laughs> making passes individually. Yeah, and, and I could That's a fast way to too. do it, but. That was, that, say, that was me, my problem. Me, I got separated like during that hard left turn. I just don't, I don't do formation flying very often. So I like said, okay, hard left I'm, turn. I turned hard left. I was like, ah, oh, where'd they go? Yeah, that hard I'm, left I'm was my fault. I'm a hundred percent out of practice too. So that's not that's not necessarily on you either. That's yeah. just us. Not we need to practice some form flying. I've been like playing the shit out of Tarkov here lately, so. We we get up in the morning and we go on a big mess cold war and then we go yeah baby we killed one and then we go home and do it again. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna play it, we can we can or some other server that has the F4. We can do some team bonding, team bonding exercises. Trade life. Yeah, because it's also easier to work with people that you've been flying with anyway. This is very true, regardless of airframe. I know how you and, uh, that and having just like another airframe to be like, hey, can you like get this guy for me? <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. And uh, having a buddy opens up a whole world of possibilities. I got a, a lot of games. I, I got a new computer so I can run this on high settings and have my mirrors on, which means that I might actually be able to spot targets. Hey, did any of y'all notice kind of like the ground targets were like spotting dots? Yeah, we had spot spotting dots around or something. Yeah, it was good. I didn't notice it on the all while we were in the air because it was like a dark color, you know. I noticed it on the grounds. I was like, oh, yeah, look, there they are. <laughs> yeah. Which was kind of nice for us. I mean, I like, this is truth be told, I actually like spotting dots on air targets other than the fact you can see it through. Like, oh, yeah. Because, like, DCS, they 
They've not put enough effort into the... Uh, Vermont David traffic, two ship Viper departing runway 15 yeah. to the south. Overall, I'm happy with our performance. I don't... I think we could have done better with the man pads, but I don't think we had any way of knowing that we were in that range. We were in like Angel's tent. Usually they like, you know, I'd, you know, I'd go ahead and like set my pants up and be like, yep, no more man pads. You know what I mean? I think our target area itself had man pads. I think it's just we kind of straight over the hogs. Yeah, we well, yeah, that's yeah, exactly what had a hogs area. And we didn't even, like I said, we didn't even really stray over the hog area. Well, now, I'll, I'll be honest that me and, uh, me and Deputy, we definitely did. Yeah. We, like, flew, like, the length of the hog in the Oh, shit. Oh, uh, we, uh, we just finished. We've got a, we've got a man, we've got a grouse. There's the stick. Yeah, we got a couple of them. We're much traffic, yeah, we Viper 1, clear, switch in, 2405. And by the vicinity, we need. 11,000 feet. All the, uh, all the A-10s are almost six of them. They're just like running racetracks, firing AGM 65s. Like, yeah. like, man, I wish our job was that easy. But they're, it's not fun. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, yeah, the tunes are targeted. We did like, what, I think? We I think absolutely like approved The 87's like, really good like number one. 80, 87. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty damn useless, but they did pretty good on those trucks. They didn't kill them all, but they definitely made them wake up. I tried landing and the smoke got my eyes. This is Hey, don't talk to Deputy. Do you think you're going to rest your ass? Yeah, that's true. Dude, I'm about to like steal your credit card information and use it to like sign for Hulu. them talk to bags directly. Go to, go to, you go to his suck. house. You have, to, <laughs> you have to suck wags off. Hey guys, wags here. I have SL Duke between my knees right now. <laughs> the hell in. Um, get rid of the AI F-16s. I think we should do that. No, I didn't like it. I don't want them. To so, I didn't like that they didn't pick up on IFF. I will say that. They were, they were just kind of like, to check on. They, they were like in the middle of our formation doing like little loop-de-loops or whatever. 
All right, guys. Uh, appreciate whoever stopped by and watched. Uh, that's going to be it for the stream today. See y'all later.